well over a year and a genuine threat at this tournament here the final European Tour event of the year the European Darts Grand Prix in single thing and, and this is a place where Ian White has hit a perfect leg of darts it did so a few years back in the run to the final of one of these European Tour events in 2012 he's been playing phenomenally saw him at the Grand Prix just a week or two ago made it to the quarterfinals losing only to the eventual victor Robert Thornton but Mickey Mansell his opponent today is a man who breezed through to this stage in qualifying he only dropped four legs against Adam Hunt and Joe Mernon and he only dropped one leg against Robbie Green in the opening round so Ian White may have to be on his mettle we've already seen today that the seeded players are not having things all their own way Dan Dawson in the commentary box for this one and Rob Harrington alongside me yes I don't there's no question that Ian White the most improved player on the PDC professional circuit you know the big stage circuit let's say he really is getting better year on year. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is making his first out when given. Game he's always off. had a good scoring power, but at times, just let chances go. But he seems to get better and better. But this man, Mickey Mansell, never a walkover. This mate, this man, he's, he's I kind of call him old school. He kind of got the throw where he kind of lobs the dart and casually walks up. It doesn't matter who he plays, he just plays exactly the same game. So he's never a pushover. Yeah, well, he's hit a bit of a barrier, has Mickey Mansell, so far this year on the European Tour. This is the fourth European Tour event he's qualified for, in every single one of them so far. He's made the second round and gone no further. Is this the weekend that he's going to take another step? We have seen him go further than that on the European Tour. He made the Dutch Darts Masters, he made 60. the last 16 in 2013. Last year he made the quarterfinals. So he, he has made it through to the final day, the final session. But it would be an upset to be Ian White because he is very much a man on the up. For me, he's the, sort of the new Andy Hamilton, if you like. Keep finding him in last day of major TV tournaments. All right, he's not he's not taken that next step and, and made the semi-finals or final of any of them yet. But I kind of feel it's almost an inevitability if he keeps playing the way that he is. Well, the, the step up that he's made, that he is now making those quarters and semis of, of tournaments, and, and especially on the floor events. So, like you say, the next step now is to progress into the finals and perhaps nick one. I mean, sometimes, like you mentioned Andy Hamilton, you never win one. Terry Jenkins has never won one. But, do you know what? They've been solid players for a long, long time and earned a good bit of money. And you require 101. But this would be for a break of throw for Ian White and, and possibly get six starts from here. Well, 44, 12 for double 16. And this would be a superb opening leg from Ian White. Game well, show on the first leg. Not Ian a lot White. wrong with that. No, not at so all. 101 check first. out for a 12, Game on. 12 data. And the diamond is off and running. Winner of this one will face Lee Evans. Well, it's not the comedian Lee Evans. One hundred and thirty-five. Don't want a madman like that on the stage. We have enough madmen as it is. Well, We've got enough madmen back backstage. Dan, quite. Well, yeah, Lee Evans, a surprise winner against Harry Jenkins earlier on today. And what a victory that was! Played very, very solidly in that match. On his European Tour debut, finds himself in the final day of action. Who knows what could happen? 46. And we have got two more games for you this afternoon following this one. Benito van der Pass, a former finalist on the European Tour, takes on Gerwin Price, a man who 95. Well, came through just about last night in front of a vociferous German crowd as he knocked out Germany's great hope, Max Hopp, 6-5. And he did wind him up a bit. He did a bit. He Six did a bit. And he didn't complain. He just went along with it, which is what I like to see. Mind you, when that, you're that size, uh, you, no one wants to argue with you anyway, do they? No, I, I, don't think you, I don't think anybody would want to be called Six out to the car park by Mr. Price. Well, judging by some of the abuse he was getting, a couple of them had definitely had 
enough 66. lubrication to think that it might be a good idea. I can assure you it isn't. Mm -hmm. Worse idea than wearing that leotard, mate. <laughs> Especially at that age. <laughs> 99. 99 for Mickey Mantle gets him down to a finish, but it's a big one, and Ian White's favourite for this leg still, you would think. He is now. But he needs to find another treble, which he's done. Look at the treble 14. We'll leave him double 16. Oh, and that's a perfect setup from Ian White. Mickey Maguire, 164. Well, 164 is a checkout. He needs to find two major trebles. Not the green ones, he needed red ones. Like on a roulette table, you think red it always comes up black. In your in case it's green. Yeah, it's not gone well for him, that one. Double 16 for 2 0. Just outside. Mm, wrong side of that one. 16. Mm, that's the wrong side of the one. Mickey required 98. So Mickey Manso, this could have been a little bit easier. But 98, you can do it in two darts. 78 left. Mm, yeah, and a grimace from the Northern Irishman. He requires Ian 16. White returns looking at double eight. Want a little bit of bother on double 16. Ooh, chasing the doubles around the dartboard. 14. Well, wow. a chance to get 14. control of the game, and he's just chucked it away. You can't see Mickey Mansell given this up. A bit of a gift, really. But you take them. Oh, and that's a perfect, perfect miss, really, to find the double. Surely he can't miss the double top with them two sitting there. Game drops, <laughs> second leg. Mickey Mickey sets them and finds the little red bit, and it is one the of these in the break back. A very un-Ian White-like leg, that one. Yeah, six darts at a double from Ian White, but it's one leg all, and Mickey Mansell is well and truly in the game. 60. Looks good for another. 121. We see Terry Jenkins do that a lot today as well, didn't he? Although mm. his was sliding into the five. Just the extra points that you're losing really does cost you. Yeah, particularly in that tight game. 140. Mansell has had his injury problems this year. pulled him out of a, some tournaments. So he's not had a huge amount of success. Not made a, a last 16 of any PDC tournament this year. In fact, the last time he did, he was the Grand Prix last year, and he's not he didn't qualify for it this year. The uh, Irish qualifier spots taken by Daryl Gurney and Willie O'Connor, and of course Daryl Gurney is the man who will be vying for that second Northern Irish World Cup of Darts team spot alongside 100. Brendan Dolan. Mickey just got it this year. Well, Shanghai left for Mickey Mansell. He might need to find it. <clears throat> needs one more treble really to put the pressure on. 100. Um, Mickey requires 120. Well, most dart players like the Shanghai. He's going to get a dart at the double top. Eighty. He required ninety-seven. Mm, just chastising himself there, Mickey Mansell. Opportunity missed. Can Ian White punish him for it? Treble nineteen. Gives him a dart at tops. Game and he gets it. And it's Ian a fourteen White. dart leg. That's a bit more like it for Ian White. Throw first. How many times, Dan, do we see you know Game a guy on. miss six darts at a double, and then? On the combinations, it's just bang, bang, bang. It's because you, you're in a rhythm, you don't think about the double so much. Um, but you, you get three darts in your hand, you go, right, well, I don't hit the double, I just put it on the outside, which is a negative straight away. Mm. And then you think, well, 
oh, well, this will go in, then it doesn't, and all of a sudden, dart three becomes a panic dart anyway. And is it almost step level? We'll just break off for a second as Mickey Mansell looks to fill this up to, yeah, lovely One darts, eight. Mickey Mansell. That's his Two. first maximum of the match. Is it almost as if, if you've got three clear darts, double eight, for example, as Ian White hits back eight. with a maximum of his own. Two. And obviously, you want to take that shot out, but you know, you're kind of expected to as a professional dart player. Three clear darts and at a, at a double, and you're already double. You've got to take out. If you don't, it's a bad miss. Whereas if you've got 97 or 104 or something like that, you're thinking, well, this is a good shot. It's, it's, it's almost like you're trying to prove something, whereas you're just trying to avoid doing 100. something bad. It's a different kind of mindset, even though you're totally. still just trying to win a leg. That's all you're doing. You're exactly right. Um, and that's what happens. And I think if most dart players were honest with you, they'd say, yes, that's exactly what happens. On the combination, you're only half expected to hit it, so you're not tensed up. Yeah. You're just 85. nice and free, and you're like, bang on, have a dart, and it goes in. Get, like I said, you get three darts in your hand, and, oh, okay, the first one, oh, yeah, it's in a good position. Then the second one misses, and like I said, the third one is a, a panic dart, because you think, I've missed three darts in a double. 64. Then if you come back to the board, you've got the negative of missing the doubles mm. in your head anyway. Yeah, 3,000 people here are going to be impressed if I take out this 97. The, only, the best thing that can happen if I take out double eight is that they, they don't boo me or groan or say <laughs> that was rubbish. 60. In your Just a 60 for Mickey Mansell. Ian White. We'll get two darts here for a 3-1 lead and to open up a bit of daylight. That's Game the first one that we've had in this match. Back to back 14 darts for Ian White. That's a, a little bit more like what we expect from the Mancedas 